Hey, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography back with another Lightroom tutorial and just quickly I'm going to show you how to export your photo like this one I've got here with a watermark in you know, whatever if you want it in the corners, uh, the center, wherever, you, wherever you'd like a watermark um, you can put one there. So all you do is open your image uh, I'm just in the develop module and I'll just click file export as you normally would and then uh, you've got your name, got the name, um, all that sort of stuff, all your basic stuff that you normally do. But then down here, you've got watermark. And all you do is simply tick it on or off and choose a watermark that you've got. So if you do need to add a new one, simply go to edit watermarks. And then you can choose between text or graphics. So if you do text, you just change the text down here. Uh, if you do graphic, you choose a file. It comes up with a normal file upload. Um, screen that you get. So I've got my little logo down here that I've already done and you can change the proportion of it, you can make it bigger so you're either using that slider or these arrows, it's up to you. And I'm going to make mine about 17. And then here you can choose the point that you want. So obviously so you can see here you've got nine points. You can change it between anywhere you want and then simply click save that will come up with a new preset and um, all you do is just select that watermark so I've already got mine saved so um, normally you just type it in click create in this case I'm going to click cancel because I've already saved mine um, I've got two different ones so I can just do watermark logo gold and then all I do is simply click export that would export as normal um, I've already done it so once it does get exported you've got um, your image and then down in the bottom right you can see you've got well I've got my logo yours would be anywhere that you've put it on that anchor point uh, when you chose where the watermark goes so you can see exactly the same size everything like that if you do need to make uh, like a signature or something like that you can use Photoshop and just do a, a transparent frame by you know 500 pixels wide by 300 pixels high and you could import that as an image and that's how you can put a watermark on every single one of your photos so if you exported 100 photos it would be on 100 photos so there you go